Hello, I'm Danny from Anathema, and you are watching Rock and Live. No, not really. Yeah, in a way, but it's really it's about people. It's about it's a metaphor for people and lives. You know. Um, the idea that as some satellites can go on long, strange, elliptical orbits. And that happens with people too in your life. They go out, you don't know why, they come back. And usually it's because life is hard. People go this way. And I think all of us know one or two distant people in our lives and we wish were closer. And our drummer John Douglas had the metaphor for his story about distant satellites, you know. Just about people, really. And when I heard the name, I thought it was a good title for the album. It kind of talks about our story with Together and how gravity has kept us together, even though sometimes it's been a long process and sometimes we've been distant. But we always came back. And I think a lot of people can understand that in their lives too. Well, it started in about 2008 or 9. Oscar, I wrote a riff song melody and I thought it was great, but it disappeared from the computer and I couldn't find it and it was gone and I couldn't find it, I couldn't remember and I was sad because I thought it was a classic for us it could have been a classic new song and I was never going to remember this but I did consciously try to remember try to think how I felt at the time what I would think, what I would play and I never could but the three lost songs were all written in my attempt to remember the old one so although I forgot the old one, I got three others. So maybe that's a better result. Three instead of one. I tried to remember it, I couldn't, but I wrote three others in the trying. And that's what happened. It's a good question, but I'm afraid I'm not really telling anybody. Uh, it's kind of private, the reason that I've chosen this name. But, um, you know, I like that song. And I like the sentiment in the song. And I like the melody a lot. And the arrangement, and the riff and the melody at the end. Um, but as for what the song represents, I'm not really going to talk about that. That's for people to make their impression. You know, it's bad. Went over the high line. Oh, and it makes me wanna cry. Maybe, but when I wrote that lyric, I wasn't thinking of anybody specifically. I just said it. I wasn't thinking of somebody or trying to reach somebody, I just said that. And often I am thinking of somebody when I write something, but that time I wasn't. It's just it was a general thing. It just came out, it just came out. I played the piano and sang those words and I didn't think about it. This is a long time ago, like 10 years ago. That was 10 years old, that song. That song is 10 years old. Distant Satellite is 17 years old. And the original melody of Not Alone is 17 years old. Um, In Parallel, Take Shelter is about six years old. So uh, there's a lot of, um, older material in there. Firelight is five years old. Yeah. Strangely, at the end of the album, which is the most different electronic half of the album, that's all the old material. That's like material from the 90s and 2000s, you know? And the first six songs are all new. So, and they sound like classic anathema sounds. Strange mix. Uh... 
caught you as I floated by Makes me wanna cry. With justice and satellite. We've known Christopher for a few years and we've known Steve for a few years too. We toured with Porcupine Tree twice. Um, yeah, it's uh, well actually Christopher was gonna do the whole album and would have been fantastic for that. But he had to have an operation, he was um, quite sick and lost a week. He lost a week in the studio, so in, in order to finish the album on time, we had to get somebody to help. So uh, Stephen did two songs, and uh, I didn't know he would be free or available. But when I heard he was available, I said, "Okay, let's do it," because um, he's very reliable and very good and imaginative and very good mixer of music. So when I heard that, I said, "Okay, it'll work," and it did. So, but it was born really because uh, Krista was uh, not well and but it worked out great because uh, Steve brought a different colour because he's, he's very good at that he's a great mixer and he brought a different colour and feeling to the album that wouldn't be there maybe otherwise so let it take me away Well, I, I didn't know him until we were looking for a, an album art and I just typed it into Google, the name of the record, Distant Satellites. Then I typed in Distant Light with John and Vinny and his images were there. And I just clicked on the images, went to the website, saw them. I said, this is lovely. We discussed it. We liked it. I emailed him that night. He wrote to me the next morning and it was going. It, it happened very quickly, that's the internet for you. But it just came from a Google search, in, uh, and it came up with this guy from New York, from Korea, living in New York. Very lovely, beautiful. Yeah, not connected to us, he did that anyway, as an art exhibition. So let it take me away. We write individually anyway, and then we bring the songs together. And we meet for production meetings in a studio for a week with John and Krista, and just put all the songs together on a computer. So it's quite simple, really. But mostly we'll write at home, and then maybe I'll go to a sound check and say, "Have you heard this one? Have you heard?" That? And some of them are picked, and some of them we let go. But yeah, it's. Um, Mostly you write them at home anyway, or on a sound check, or in a, in a concert, or in a studio, you know, on a piano. So, they're written individually to begin with. They're individual works, and then we bring them together. Nice to be in France, I'm enjoying it. I like being here, I like this city. I always like this city. So yeah, happy about happy about doing a bit of promo here, happy about you know seeing France again. It has uh, some memories for me. Judgment time. It's quite special for France. Spent a lot of time in France then. And um, was writing songs here and so on. So it takes me back to those end days, really. In fact, I listened to Judgment a little bit on the Eurostar on the way to Paris from London, just to remind me of the time and connection I had with Paris. You know, I also spent a long time here in 2010. So, yeah, I like it. And, uh... Just merci beaucoup, et bonne chance, et uh, la vie est belle, et tout ça. C'est tout. <laughs>